Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain a new topic that is Babcock and Wilcox boiler. See Babcock and Wilcox boiler is a horizontally placed externally fired means the combustion of air and fuel mixture only takes place outside the boiler and high pressure see natural circulation water tube boiler see natural circulation means here the water will be circulated in the boiler without any external devices and you know the meaning of water tube boiler right in case of Babcock and Wilcox boiler the water will be moved inside the tubes and the hot flow gases will be provided outside the tubes okay and by using this Babcock and Wilcox boiler we can generate a steam at up to a pressure of 40 bar that's why it is called as a high pressure boiler and we can produce a steam rate that is 40,000 kg per hour okay now the boiler efficiency see the boiler efficiency of Lancashire boiler it is in the range of 60% to 80% and the diameter of the drum it will be up to 2 meter and length of the drum will be that is 6 to 9 meter See, because of these things, it is widely used in case of what? The thermal power stations. See, what is the main requirement in case of thermal power st st stations? You need a large quantity of steam at a high pressure. Okay. Now, the construction of the Babcock and Wilcox boiler. See, the Babcock and Wilcox boiler, it mainly consists of a, a longitudinal cylindrical drum okay inside which the water will be present and it is mainly provided with the uptake header tube at one end and downtake header at the other end and see uptake and downtake header tubes are they are connected by using a inclined tubes inside which the water will be present and see this is what the the hopper part which contains the fuel that is coal and this part what we called as a grate part see grate is a part over which the fuel will be burnt okay so that you will get hot flue gases and see these ascending tubes what they will connect the boiler to the uptake header tube and descending tubes connects the, again the boiler to the downtake header tube and here see this is what the feed valve the main purpose of this feed valve is to what to feed the water inside the boiler and this is the water gauge which is used to measure the level of water inside the boiler and this one is the pressure gauge which is used to measure the pressure of the steam inside the boiler and this is what steam and uh, that is water drum okay and this is a safety valve see in case of uh, boiler if the steam produced if it is higher than the the maximum uh, limit at that time the safety valve releases that pressure and this is the steam stop valve so here at the end of the steam what you are getting it will be supplied to the what the turbine part by using this steam stop valve and this is what the steam space which is provided for collection of steam and this is the super heater the main purpose of the super heater tubes is to what to convert the saturated steam into a superheated steam okay and the last one is what this one that is the baffle plates the main purpose of this baffle plate is to what this baffle plate guides the the hot flow gases to move on these tubes that is inclined water tubes and there will be one mud box will be there the main purpose of this mud box is to collect the the mud particles and this blow off always to what which is used to remove the the ash particles and uh, that is mud particles and also to remove the water okay now the working of the Babcock and Wilcox boiler see by using a hopper part the fuel that is coal has to be placed on the grape part now by, by making use of atmospheric air here the combustion process will takes place so that hot flue gases will be released and the baffle plates which are present in the inclined tubes they guides the hot flow gases to move on these inclined tubes see inside this inclined tubes water will be present that's why it is called as inclined water tubes 
okay so by absorbing heat from the hot flow gases the water which is present inside the inclined tubes it will be converted into steam and by making use of this uptake header tube it will be collected at the top surface of the water okay and here the steam which is collected at the top surface of the water now it is moved through this superheater tube so that this superheater converts this saturated steam into a superheated steam now that superheated steam by using a steam stop valve it will be sent to the turbine part okay so this is what the working of that is babcock and wilcox boiler now the advantages of babcock and wilcox boiler see the first one high steam production rate see by using a babcock and wilcox boiler we can produce a 40000 kg of steam in one hour and second one that is high pressure operation see by using a these kind of a boilers we can generate a steam at a pressure of 40 bar and see it, it is having advantage is that we can make use of what all types of fuel in order to generate hot flavor gases and inspection and maintenance is what it is very easy compared to Lancashire boiler now what are the disadvantages in case of uh, Babcock and Wilcox boiler see problem of corrosion see here the chances of corrosion will be very high in case of Babcock and Wilcox boiler compared to Lancashire boiler and the next one larger area required you just look into that uh, size of the boiler you will get it you need a very large area for this type of boilers now what are the applications of uh, that is babcock and wilcox boiler they are used in case of uh, sugar mills textile mills and power plant that is uh, particularly thermal power stations okay see for theory notes of uh, this one that is uh, for Babcock and Wilcox spiral, you just refer from these two lights. See, this is what the construction and working slide. Okay. Then, if you like this video, you just uh, share with your friends. And don't uh, forget to press that uh, bell icon so that you will get a notification when I upload my next video. Thank you.